Advances in research on diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, or DLBCL, are resulting in more options to treat the disease and improve the quality of life for people affected by DLBCL. DLBCL starts when your B cells, a type of white blood cells that normally fight off infection, grow too quickly. DLBCL develops in your lymphatic system, which includes lymph nodes, certain organs, and bone marrow. Your treatment is focused on destroying as many lymphoma cells as possible. When there is no more evidence of lymphoma cells in your body, you are considered in remission or having a complete response. Even if your tests show partial response to treatment, your disease can still be managed well. Your treatment plan will be based on your age and overall health, your type of DLBCL, potential long-term side effects, your stage, where the disease is located in your body, and symptoms. Types of treatment for DLBCL are traditional chemotherapies, targeted therapies, stem cell transplant, radiation, and immunotherapies. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to destroy fast-growing cancer cells. These drugs can also damage other fast-growing cells that are normal. Radiation therapy uses x-rays or other high-energy rays. Radiation may be done in addition to chemotherapy. The stem cell transplant commonly used for DLBCL is called an autologous stem cell transplant. Damaged bone marrow cells are replaced with healthy bone marrow cells collected from your own body. After you receive chemotherapy, the stem cells are returned to your body. If you're not responding to treatment, or if the cancer returns, you may receive immunotherapy, which uses your own immune cells to detect and kill cancer cells. Immunotherapy includes treatments such as CAR-T, or bispecific antibodies. All treatments can have side effects. Side effects are any unwanted or unexpected reaction to a medication or treatment that usually gets better over time. With chemotherapy and radiation treatments, the most common side effects are nausea and vomiting, diarrhea and temporary hair loss. An infection from a decrease in your white blood cells can present as fever or chills, coughing, sore throat, and frequent or loose bowel movements. Nerve damage, known as neuropathy, can make your fingers and toes feel numb or tingle. Tumor lysis syndrome, or TLS, can happen during some types of treatment. TLS occurs when many cancer cells die quickly and release substances into the bloodstream. This can lead to other health complications. You may experience long-term side effects or late effects of your treatment. Long-term effects are common and can last for months or years after treatment ends. One common example is fatigue. Late effects are medical problems that do not show up until years after treatment ends. See your doctor to get follow-up care to detect any late effects. They can include heart disease, secondary cancers, fertility issues, thyroid problems, trouble concentrating, and chronic fatigue. Advances in understanding the genetics of DLBCL have led to the discovery of new approaches to treating DLBCL. Targeted drugs work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal healthy cells. Taking part in a clinical trial may be the best treatment choice for some people with DLBCL. Clinical trials are now underway for patients at every treatment stage of DLBCL. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada to learn more. It's important to know that you can better manage your DLBCL and have a better quality of life by communicating with your healthcare team.
and surrounding yourself with a support network. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand DLBCL and navigate the road ahead.